So first question coming from Justin. Bill will never pay top running back money, but for the sake of discussion, mm -hmm. what are your thoughts on giving Stidham, Derrick Henry, or Melvin Gordon along with an elite defense if Brady walks? Hashtag male Doug. I don't love it. I'm not one to, to pay running backs a whole lot of money. I didn't actually love when the Patriots drafted Sonny Michelle in the first round in the, in the first place. But now that you've invested that first round pick in Sonny Michelle, mm -hmm. You can't then turn around and pay Derrick Henry or Melvin Gordon. I think those are probably better running backs than Sonny Michelle, but eh, yeah, you no. could have had Nick Chubb. Yeah, you could have had Just Carry on Johnson. You could, have, you could have had a lot of guys there at that. Uh, but yeah, no, yeah, I, I'm I'm against that. Yeah. Okay. All right, let's get to the next one. Ryan would like to know the past couple weekends have displayed many versatile and valuable tight ends, both in pro and college games. Often the same team has multiple. Why the failure by Bill mm. since drafting Gronk? It's a very, very, very fair question, especially since some of the guys that they got, like Dwayne Allen, never really emerged as pass catchers. I think the Patriots probably had high hopes for Matt Lacoste this season and Ben Watson. Neither one of those guys really panned out, but the Patriots never should have been in the, in the place where they were, where they had to rely on those guys. They should have been drafting a tight end since 2010 uh, when they drafted Rob Gronkowski. Uh, and the only real guy that they've taken was Ryan Izzo, yeah. who's a seventh round pick. So I do think that it's a failure by Bill Belichick to address this position especially since Gronk was you know rumored for retirement for a couple years there they should have done something yeah. there I think that's that's fair as far as roster construction to, to blame Bill Belichick on that one yeah like there's no way hell you could have been blindsided by that right yeah I mean after what was it the Super Bowl against the Eagles mm -hmm. Gronk at least was talking about retirement so at that point yeah. you really should have started addressing it so you can expect probably this upcoming <laughs> draft see some big picks he, put some money on it he, you would you would certainly hope so but <laughs> given given the recent track record maybe yeah. they're just like eh, whatever what's a tight end you know it's like whatever <laughs> we'll just roll with ben watson again danger dave on twitter i like that name. Name. yeah you do girlfriend <laughs> do you believe the patriots think they have the tools at wide receiver on their current roster for 2020 do you see them investing more draft capital this year in the position or is tight end more important well, I definitely think that, you know, given what we were just saying, tight end is more important than wide receiver because they essentially have no one. They've got Matt Lacoste and Ryan Izzo, and you can't count on those guys. I think they've got a, a decent uh, decent core of wide receivers. I'm Careful. not really looking at, you know, <laughs> I, but, you know, they've got Julian Edelman, they've got Mohamed Sanu, they've got Nikhil Harry, Jacoby Myers. Like, that's a good, you know, skeleton crew of wide receivers. I do think that you need one more in there as well. So if I'm the Patriots, I'm not only addressing tight end, I'm also addressing wide receiver and bringing in a guy who can be either a number one or number two option because I think that Sanu, Harry, Myers, all those are kind of more decent three or four options all right do you think that maybe because of the relationship with tom brady and some of those young guys that we actually see him commit to camp this year some of these <laughs> voluntary workouts i would hope so if he comes back i want to see him in ota yeah, so obviously year. assuming if he comes back. yeah and uh, because it is he needs that work with muhammad Sunu, he needs it with nikhil harry he needs it with with jacoby myers and like we're saying they're gonna have a new tight end in there they're gonna have new wide receivers in there I think that you could give Tom Brady the benefit of the doubt in the past when he was putting up big numbers with his receivers that, okay, maybe he doesn't need to be there for the spring practices. But at this point, every practice is important for Tom Brady, and he can't have a season like he did last year. And I don't know if that's his fault, the receiver's fault, the, the coach's fault, but something needs to change there. And I think that, you know, the, the impetus is on Tom Brady to, to show up for those practices. I was going to say, it just can't hurt him showing up early. No, yeah. Even if it's five, six practices, it can't hurt. Yeah. Our next one coming from Rick Ball. Do you read anything into the cleaned out sweet news? Oh. This has been a topic of conversation for a lot of people. Like, how serious is this? I see. I see. I don't even really know what this suite is. <laughs> like, so it, does Tom Brady, I guess, have a suite at Gillette Stadium? Isn't that the one? Yeah. Is it family goes, or something? Goes, goes up there and uh, gets all massaged out. I guess. Right. Well, I don't know if it's that or is it like a, a suite watching the field that his family is in? Is it is it like Alex Guerrero's office? Or are we talking about a locker here? I just need a little bit more information it, on, it this, sound like, on this suite. Sound like great questions you're asking for <laughs> male Doug maybe next week. <laughs> yeah, maybe I'll answer. For them you next should investigate. Week. I, well, yeah, it's. I don't look that much into it though, personally. I, I don't really understand. You know, I, I think that anything during the off season is gonna get cleaned out. Mm -hmm. I don't think that anyone knows what Tom Brady's gonna do next season, including Tom Brady. Did we figure out? Does he have a house in Greenwich, Connecticut, or not? Do we know? 
Tom Curran says no. Um, I guess I'll stick with that one. That's <laughs> okay. Yeah. That's yeah. Cool. I, I trust Tom. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, all right. Thank you, Doug Tide. <laughs> I do not have a house. You in did Grand a great job. No. No, you, you certainly <laughs> don't, Doug. You, <laughs> work, you, you work at Nesson.